scheduled program to bring your action news team, Los Angeles on KLYE, with a special report. Now here are Cliff Cregan and June July. Hello, I'm June July. And I'm Cliff Cregan. <clears throat> Uh, we are interrupting this broadcast to bring you this special report. This station has just received information regarding a series of murders that have occurred on the campus of Cal State Northridge, just near Nordoff and the 405 freeway. Police are responding to a number of calls in this area. Reports state that campus co-eds are, and I quote, being massacred by a vicious murderer that has yet to be apprehended or even identified. Details are sketchy at this time. Now, we are going to try to bring you up to date and keep you up to date on this horrific story as it breaks. It's our job and our duty. I'm Cliff Cragen. And I'm June July. The first 911 call came in at around 9 p.m. when a young student was found decapitated near one of the science labs. <clears throat> June, have the authorities yet to uh, identify the decap? No, no, Cliff, they haven't. Oh. Um, witnesses claim only to have heard strange laughter emanating from the area and then nothing. Thank you, June. Strange. Very, very strange. Um, uh, <clears throat> the faculty and staff at uh, CSUN are trying to ascertain who could have access to these labs at such a late hour. Since the first call, over a dozen students have been killed or injured. Authorities are trying to track the assailant but remain baffled at this time. Mm. Our correspondent, Preston Greens, has the details. He comes to us live from the CSUN campus, somewhere near the site of the most recent murder. Preston? Uh, yes, Cliff, I'm receiving you now. I'm here near the admissions office of CSUN University, where, as you can see, the killer has just struck. Now, normally, these quiet hallways would be packed with nervous, desperate students, their blood racing towards deadlines and tuition, and tonight, God help us, much is the same. Body parts are strewn throughout. People in fear for their lives. I think I just stepped on a film student. Well, uh, oh, uh, Preston, can you tell us who might be responsible for this carnage? June, baby, we're, we're uh, receiving statements from the police that this is the work of some type of uh, creature or animal. Few students claim to seen a large being about the size of a man racing through the building, slashing and maiming everyone in its path, and I do mean maiming. As a matter of fact, this one student over here was talk... Oh, well, she's dead now. Well, she spoke of sharp claws and crimson fangs, digging into muscle and sinew, tearing and ripping the victims, and going for the jugular. Uh, 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 and Preston, Preston, please maintain we are professionals here. Right, Cliff? We are professionals. <laughs> um, did anybody get a clear look at it? And, and what exactly does this thing look like? Well, June and Cliff, <sighs> students reported of brightly colored hair and a ghastly smile. I believe the word killer clown was used a few times. Hmm. Of course, that would explain the floppy shoes and fudge droppings found near the victims. Huh. Crazy. This is Preston Green reporting live from Cal State Northridge. Back to you, my love. <laughs> Thank you, Preston, for that um, informative report. Oh, uh, we are, uh, <clears throat> uh, we have just received word that the uh, creature has been spotted heading north near Reseda Boulevard. The public is urged to stay indoors and not to try to confront the creature in any way. Uh, for those of you with camcorders, do not, I repeat, do not attempt to videotape any portion of this incident. We've just heard that the film rights to this bizarre story have been purchased and that stars are attached. <laughs> I see George Hamilton is you. <laughs> oh, Junie, Junie, Junie. I, of course, will play myself. Oh, oh yes. Ooh, I smell Emmy. <laughs> oh, there's always been a bit of an actress in you, star is born. <laughs> just a bit. Oh, excuse us. Oh, we are now going to some tape recorded earlier from our own Skycam, who was live above the campus just moments ago. Go ahead, Skycam. Yes, June. Just yesterday, this humble little campus was gearing up for another day in the cycle of educating our American youth. Students scurrying like ants in a complex colony of higher education. Their young minds blossoming to the light of knowledge. It brings a tear of wonder to the eye. 
And now it's a blood feast. The creature has wreaked havoc throughout the community. Fires blaze out of control. Traffic is at a standstill. And Lord knows how many households pets are on the loose. Oh, God. Oh, the humanity. If, if I may be blunt here, Cliff and June, I haven't seen carnage like this since my glory days back in Nam. Me and the Bravo Company, a flying low into the LZ, a pulse racing, scrotum clenched. I tell you, I almost burst my girdle, but I'll try to keep it together. Oh, the horror, the horror, the fear, the terror. Back to you, Cliff and June. Oh, God. Uh, well, he's, uh, he's, he's a good man. Uh, hmm. Well, uh, reports state that the creature has destroyed a nearby falafel van and is heading northeast from Reseda at a very rapid pace. Uh, northeast? Um, ladies and gentlemen, that puts the monster very close to this station. Why, yeah, yes, it does, doesn't it? It does. Oh, very close. Very, very close. In fact, I'm getting reports. I'm getting a report that the monster has entered the building. Oh, geez, this is oh. kind of exciting. <gasps> I, entered the building, and, 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 and Cliff is heading this way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope we get to see it. Oh, me too. <laughs> 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 